Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review the new documentary, The Automat. What is The Automat? Interesting enough, the last Automat closed a couple months before I was born. So I've never experienced this restaurant, but apparently it was huge in Philadelphia and New York. And this restaurant was a classy looking establishment, but reasonable prices. It had a unique delivery service of these little doors that you could pull food out of after you put in a couple of nickels depending on how much what you need is and they had five cent coffee that comes out of the fountain face of like a dolphin and stuff like that and this was a place that was an institution of both of these cities for decades and this documentary from Lisa Hurwitz does a really fine job of capturing the passion of why this meant so much to so many people. Because you have Elliot Gould and Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Colin Powell and Carl Reiner, and I'll save the most important one for a little bit later, but you have this film. It's a pretty standard documentary. If you just take a look at it and watch it, this feels Ken Burns-esque. It feels like I could just be watching this on A&E kind of thing for TV. But there's a couple of moments of interesting effect showing these really old pictures of each city and only showing lighting on the bill, like the sign, neon signs for the automat. And you get this story that you have from the very beginning between these two men who start up this company and you go through beat by beat trying to see where things ended and how things got to this point and they make a clear thesis. It's very well structured and broken down and it's informative and interesting. There are some great editing moments that really get some good laughs in terms of these back and forth interactions between Carl Reiner and his friend who I'll be getting to in a second. But it really captures the authenticity and the passion behind the automat because these were institutions of these cities, these represented these cities, they meant something so deeply to the people of these cities that it was integral to their experiences. And you have a lot of inclusion because like anybody could eat there. There was no perspectives from others who were running this place that nobody was like nobody was worth kicking out or keeping away which did cause some issues when homeless started really utilizing these places and they wouldn't kick them out but in general this was a very inclusive and inviting place and how this really helped them boom and make more money and this film really told a great message of like you don't have to sh skimp on things to still make a profit and a good living for yourself and the biggest piece of this film and this person knew it 100% is Mel Brooks. And you have him throughout the documentary delivering hilarious lines. He's the one going back and forth with Carl Reiner, making jokes through the editing. He was very passionate about this. These meant so much to him as a child, and you get to see his story and how that fit in. And I just like this film gets a little meta at times because he basically tells her at the end, it's like, well, use everything that I said and use it all the place. I'm. I'm wealthy, I'm famous, make the most of it, sell this documentary, and all those different kinds of things to really, like, jazz things up. And he was a real highlight, along with all the other celebrities or politicians that spoke of this. But, like, this film really captures the scope and the meaning of this place. And what it made me think about a lot, because they compared it in the film to Starbucks, and I don't really see that, especially with the reputation that Starbucks has at this point, where it's just like, you know, the automat was affordable. <laughs> Starbucks isn't. And obviously they might have certain things in common, but like I was sitting at the end of this really contemplating deeply and wishing that I had such an institution in my town that was like somewhere that everybody went or being able to feel the feeling these people had going to their, um, their specific automat in their city and what that meant so much to them and it also brought some thoughts into my head of like maybe one day wanting to live in a city my only motivation up to this point has seriously just been better access to movies to move to new york city but i'm not a fit city person but this film made that passion well felt 
and I could relate to it and connect with it. In general, this is your pretty standard documentary, but it has some flair that elevates it a little bit and gives it some notice and made me want to go because it certainly caught my attention that Mel Brooks was involved. But this is a really quality, nice documentary, and I hope people check it out. But those are my thoughts on the Automat. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.